Science has not yet been able to develop a mathematical formula for gravity. We really don't know what it is. But in the 1970s, as a half-educated undergraduate, I came up with the formula. Gravity equals mass times velocity divided by the elasticity of the membrane of quote-unquote space. But there is no such thing as space or nothing or vacuum. It's like a liquid. Dark matter and dark energy have filled the universe and we can't say since the beginning of time because time, there's no such thing as time or space. We cannot detect it because it's in another dimension. If it is ever detected, it will be detected by a quantum physicist in a tiny, tiny way, not by an astrophysicist. The Big Bang was not made in some kind of impossible empty vacuum. The Big Bang was more like dissolving dropping a hard chunk of dried mud into a bucket of water. The Big Bang is actually dissolving. The water is the dark matter and dark energy that science cannot explain or measure, but it's in their formulas. It's a placeholder. Without that placeholder, the physics calculations would all be invalid. This demonstration in outer space by the International Space Station scientists shows an example of what it's like in a very, very crude way. And this is everywhere in what we call the universe because even our bodies are 99.997 nothing and it's only the velocity of electrons around a vibrating nucleus held together by the Higgs boson that we have the mass of our bodies. So what is occupying 99.997 of the emptiness in our bodies? Well, it's dark matter, dark energy. Think of it as a fluid that occupies everything that we call empty or a vacuum. But it doesn't exist in our three-dimensional world. It's impossible to detect. So gravity equals mass times velocity divided by the elasticity of this membrane is a formula that will, I believe, never be disproved or proved one way or the other. It's really our three-dimensional selves pushing against this nothing liquid that is pushing back against everything in our dimension of existence. In this example, as the effervescent pill expands inside the universe, inside the water, it is causing the water sphere to actually expand as well. But it's pushing back. It's pushing back. So the amount of expansion depends on the elasticity of the membrane of the universe, and that's what gives us gravity.